Yeah, I'm about to fade away Cause every time I wake up I feel like it's Monday Something's going wrong with all the chemicals up in my brain All of a sudden I don't look at anything the same way Got a build up of my thoughts sitting in an ashtray I'm sorry that I'm so inconvenient, okay Just let me be me and I'll stay out of your way I can see the way you look at me, I'm such a disgrace I never really asked to be brought into this place You wanna love me? Well then baby, I have a taste All the highs and the lows no, you'll never be the same I don't really wanna hurt you But I can't control the pain If you're sticking by my side Maybe we could be okay Okay, okay Maybe you could be the change I need today I promise that I've never felt this way I really hope that you Will choose to stay Through all the pain I know you told your friend You're not okay And tell me what's wrong And why you never said You felt that way Trying to stay strong and fake a smile until I look away But I've known you too long, it hurts to watch your blue eyes fade to grey As you fade away Every word I move so descriptive like an adjective I got a vendetta against people who patented Being negative when you should be getting after it 
I got facts over facts over tracks. This and that, spitting slow, spitting fast. I could roast, I could gas. Think I'm okay at last, but I don't know if that can erase all the past. And the pettiness, a reflection of the emptiness. Hilarious, you think you're worth my time? You're delirious, mysterious. Because you are behind a fake exterior, inferior. You know I'll always be a bit superior. Get off of me, this ain't no humble brag. I want you to hear words, you can say them back. I want you to feel free from the chains at last. And to believe in what you got, it was built to last. Yeah. Now that I've been put through, I never got anyone's help. I had to do it all myself. I don't ever slow up. No, I don't take shit. I got no love for the fakeness. If you want to play tough. All right, guys. Just came back in from a card show up in Shepherdsville, Kentucky. It's called the Awesome Flea Market under new management up there. We went did a couple shows when they first started up there. Haven't been back in, oh, it's been well over a year. Uh, a couple guys told me about it, decided to head up. It was a quick drive, like 30 minutes there, 30 minutes back. I'm not too sure what's going to come through in a beginning clip for footage. Uh, lighting, very, very bad in there. You might only get a couple still picks. Walking in, I was shocked. Four dealers. I'm pretty sure one, two, three, four dealers total in there. Small table going around light, or small circle. But was able to find some stuff, thankfully, up there. There was one guy that had some basketball, and I'm talking like Mobley Autos. They're selling now between like 45, 50 bucks, marked at 145. I can do 60. I'm in it kind of heavy. And then, oh, uh, I'm trying to remember who the other auto is. Scotty, no, it was a Scotty Barnes checkerboard optic, which I didn't get pictures of, but he had it marked at like three something. I'm like, man, sales are like 140, 150. He's like, well, I can do 150. And I'm like, no, no, no. <laughs> So I'm not too sure other than the one gentleman I bought from how well all the other dealers did up there coming in. Hopefully, I mean, they're doing it for two days. They get some people coming through. All right, let me show you guys what I picked up. A lot of this stuff's for whatnot minus one card, which is going out to somebody. It's a collector of him. And I'll tell you guys about when I get there. So this was all out of the boxes at first. Um, I was going through, picked a huge stack out, asked him on prices per piece. And then we did it as a lot minus the last card. So up first, Ernie Banks. This is from SP Legendary Cuts. This is jersey action of him. And I thought it was numbered. I guess this one is not numbered. I forget which ones are numbered. But cool piece. That'll be going on whatnot next weekend. Uh, just so you guys know, I can't do. I uh, couldn't do whatnot this past weekend because when this video comes out on Monday. I've already had a surgery, surgery or procedure, whatever you want to call it. And so I couldn't really talk and wouldn't be able to get stuff out on Monday. And so I'm like first in the morning. So up next, Flair. And I believe this is Flair. Yeah, Flair, great. So there's a little bit of whiting on this, but on the corners, a few are going to expect it with all the red on to it. But Johnny Bench, classic numbers. Uh, I think this is 0, 02, 02. I was going to say 01. So cool little piece there. I'm like picking this stuff up cheap because it just a lot of people are looking for it. And it's older. Again, another Johnny Bench out of 145. This was Upper Deck Epic. This is the Epic Materials Johnny Bench. Again, Relic. Let me try to get the thingy focused a little bit better. There we go. Pretty cool piece. Another whatnot piece. Kiwi Reese and Duke Schneider. This is another Flare Greats. I believe this one was 01. Nope, 03. I'm really off on my dates here. So, Game Worn Pants, Dual Relic. Pretty cool pieces. Kiwi Reese is big out in my area in Ohio and stuff like that. And Duke Schneider. I was really surprised when I found the value on this from what I paid. Uh, I, was way, I was way under what I thought it was valued at. We're just going to say that. Same with this next piece. I was way under value of what I thought it was worth, and so was the gentleman, too. I didn't know until I got home. Kiwi Reese, Top Sterling. This is out of 2010, Top Sterling, before they reinvented it. And this is all stuff between there to fuzz. But out of um, 25. Nice little piece there. Um, a lot of people are looking for these older relics now that are hard to come by. And they just fly. It shows for me. Well, it works for me. It doesn't always work for everybody out there. So I'm not telling you guys to go pick this stuff up. I just got a great deal on it. 
Next, I mean, this is another card that was worth more than what we both thought. Armin Killebrew, kind of cut auto from 2003 Fleer Classic. So, another nice piece, Hall of Famer. Lou Brock. I mean, another one that we thought was worth a lot less than what it was going for. We could only find the bases of these, and after I dug into it more, I kind of finally found some. I know it's a sticker auto from Donruss Signature Series. It's out of 83. 3,000 career hits. Another cool piece for Cardinals. Uh, be another thing for whatnot. And then finally, the last piece of the lot I found. I always do, uh, really like these SP uh, choreography. Or uh, I can't even say it now. Choreography. There we go. It's not even going to come out right. Tired, guys. Tired. Tongue twisters. Scott Rowland. Auto. This was a 98. Pretty sure. I can't even read it. I'm pretty sure it's 98. But cool piece again. I know there's a lot of guys that like this stuff, so I picked it up for whatnot. We we really thought this was like a ten dollar card. Both of us there. It's actually around thirty bucks. So kind of cool to pick stuff up like that. Last piece from Exquisite. They're not serial numbered at all, but Larry Bird Auto. They sell for like two hundred. Uh, normally right around there. You know, anywhere one eighty two twenty from what we know of. Uh, you don't see, I mean, we've looked at 130 point. You can only find one for sale on eBay for 200 But I just know from uh, different rooms and other places that these things are sold at that's not documented. 180 to 200 Pretty cool piece, though. The Larry Bird Exquisite Auto. All right, guys. Overall, like I said, for a show having very, very few dealers up there, wasn't bad overall. I was able to find stuff, digging through boxes up there of stuff. Uh, a lot of really cool pieces. Like I, you guys will see uh, from the three pictures I took of his displays. Just a lot of cool stuff up there that people are always looking for. You don't see it every show. Especially when you walk around and you see all the same uh, card with the 50 different variations of it out there. Just it, Some people like that. I'm more looking for unique items that you're not going to see maybe even at the show or, you know, maybe even in the area itself. But hopefully you guys enjoyed it. That's pretty much it. I am whooped from this week, so I am cutting the video here. I even forgot to put my face on to give you guys the I'm out. But I'm out. See you next video.